Good morning, Patriots. Welcome back to Rex Pines TV. I'm Destiny Mata. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. And now for our school mission statement. We the Patriots achieve greatness through high expectations, passion, and perseverance. Thank you. You may now be seated. Today is Wednesday, January 11th, 2023. Let's take a nice and relaxing brain break. That was so calming. Now it's time to learn a new word with word of the day. Hey Nia, did you see the broom outside this morning? I sure did. That fog was really thick. I could barely see in front of me. Yeah, the broom was really bad. I'm glad it cleared up before we headed to school. Who knows what could have happened if that fog didn't clear up in time. Yep, but I'm glad it did. See you tomorrow on word of the day. Thanks for that great new word. Now let's go to Today in History with Melanie. Thank you, Destiny. Salutation, Patriots. In Today in History, on January 11, 1935, Amelia Earhart made the first successful solo flight from Hawaii to California. Amelia Mary Earhart was an American aviation pioneer and writer. This flight lasted 19 hours. Two years later, Amelia was flying to Howland Island, but mysteriously disappeared when flying over the Bermuda Triangle. No one ever found her plane or body. No one knows why or how she disappeared. I wonder what happened. Do you really think she disappeared? Now let's see what's cooking with Jasmine. Thank you, Melanie. Today's tasted lunch is chicken corn dog, turkey ham sandwich, sweet potato fries, celery, diced pears, and your choice of milk. Students, please keep in mind that the lunch can change at any time, and so always bring your lunch card. Don't forget to let teachers know if you'll be receiving lunch today. Bon appetit. Let's get back to destiny. Thank you, Jasmine. Scholars, this quarter's instructional software challenge has started. K-2 second will need only 25 past lessons on iReady Math and 20 minutes weekly on Lexio. And 3rd through 8th will need 25 past lessons on iReady Reading and 25 past lessons on Imagine Math. You have until March 26, which is plenty of time, so get them done. Winter testing is ongoing, Patriots. Tomorrow, our 7th through 8th graders will be taking their Reading Fast test. Take a look at the schedule to see when it's your time to test, and good luck on those testing. Patriots, please don't forget our cell phone policies. It is important to make sure you have your phone shut down and in your backpacks at all times. And also, don't forget you are not allowed to chew gum in school. Make sure you spit it out before you enter the building. Students, the Patriot store is open every morning. If you want to go, look at the schedule and bring your tickets. Now let's see what the weather looks like today with Hadassah. Thank you, Destiny. Good morning, Patriots. Today's weather is looking like a nice 78 degrees Fahrenheit with bright sunny skies. It's cooler out, so take this chance to spend some time outside. In other weather news, there is some major flooding going on, not here but across the country. Montecito, California is home of America's biggest stars, including Oprah, Prince Harry, and Ellen DeGeneres. All of these stars and more have been asked to evacuate due to floods. Ellen even recorded to show what's going on. Let's hope this flood doesn't cause too much damage. Now let's go to Hendrick for the birthdays. Thank you, Hadassah. Today's birthday boys and girls are Sahai Dakas, Desiree Sahadio, and Bryson Stewart. Happy birthday. Now let's go back to Destiny. Thank you, Hendrick. Patriots, here are your pet's expectations. It represents present yourself positively, act kindly towards others, treat the school's environment respectfully, and succeed at everything. Congrats to Ms. Soto, Ms. Carey, Ms. Sheriff, Ms. Stone, Ms. Cavalita, Ms. Arnold, Ms. Pardinez, Ms. Merkel, and Ms. Ayrdenkwa. 
You all got the correct answer to yesterday's daily challenge, which was, raisins originated from which fruit? The correct answer was grapes. Now for today's daily challenge. Daily challenge. Can you find the right lock? Teachers, please send your answers to pines.renaissance at gmail.com before 9 a.m. in order for your answer to be reviewed. Winners will be announced on the next morning announcements. Everyone at RPTV would like to wish you all a wonderful Wednesday. And remember, here at Pines, we are going to renew excellence in education. Have a great day!